FTTC. Take Jersey Central with Burt Barron with you every morning. Listen online at WCTCAM.com. Jersey moves fast. Join the show that keeps you one step ahead. Jersey Central with Burt Barron on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC. It is 808 Friday morning, hour number three of Jersey Central on the new Talk Radio 1450 WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. If you're a baseball fan or you just enjoy some great artwork created by a local artist, you will want to be at the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center coming up uh, next Thursday night, October 22nd. There's going to be an incredible display there called the Yankee Legends Collection. And joining me now on the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline with all the information and uh, just uh, an incredibly talented artist who does amazing work, uh, let's welcome back James Fiorentino to Jersey Central this morning. Hey, James, it's Bert Barron. Good morning. Hey, Bert. Thanks. Welcome back. Good to have you back on the show. Uh, before we talk about the uh, Yankee Legends Collection, uh, maybe some people aren't familiar with you or the great work that you do. Uh, talk about uh, this uh, this this great work that you've been doing all this time with painting. Yeah, I appreciate it. It's uh, it's been amazing that it's been almost I guess 20 years. Probably started around professionally when I was 15 years old and had a painting in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Became the youngest artist and. You know, lucked out, right place at the right time, started doing artwork for the great Ted Williams and his museum while in high school and became Cal Ripken Jr.'s official artist when he broke the streak, which was 20 years ago this September, uh, which is unbelievable. And it's it's basically evolved into um, my watercolor paintings becoming well-known for painting portraits of people, famous people from presidents and, and Nobel Peace Prize winners to CEOs and celebrities. And um, it's been really great and, and, and a lot of fun being able to do it. Wow, and uh, since 15, there are 15-year-olds that can barely uh, program a cable box, James, and look at what you're doing and what you were able to accomplish at, uh, at such a young age. Just the uh, incredible uh, achievements that you have so far, and, uh, of course, congratulations and much more success awaits you. Uh, I know, uh, wow, was it 20 years ago already for the Cal Ripken, uh, the record game where he broke a Lou Gehrig streak? That was 20 years ago already? Yeah, Holy it, it really is unbelievable. And actually, before then, which kind of I guess ties into all this stuff with um, with Yogi's Museum and and you know me having a relationship with him and knowing him for all those years and being involved and helping out the golf tournament and 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 things like that um, when I was younger. But he, when I was 15, Yogi was the first player I'd ever done where we made reproductions of the picture. And Yogi said, "Yeah, no problem. I'll sign these for you." And he said, "Come to my house." And I just remember. Um, my parents and I going to Yogi's house and him literally signing pieces for me there at 15. So, uh, you know, it's amazing to, to think back to then and, and where I am now and, and, and kind of full circle now having this this show at, at Yogi's Museum is, is, you know, really an honor and just a very cool thing to, to be involved in. Yeah, wow, what a thrill. There'll, there'll never be another character like Yogi Berra again, that's, uh, that's for sure. And uh, talk about this Yankee Legends uh, collection. Who are some of the other great Yankees uh, that are featured here? Yeah, this is a series of um, watercolor paintings I've done on Yankee greats. Yeah, you know, your typical guys, of course, like your Babe Ruth and Lou Gehrig's to Mariano Rivera, to even guys like Bernie Williams and um, and Rizzuto and uh, Posada and Pettit and and you know all, all, all the greats, of course, Yogi and Mantle. So we're going to have these originals on display with a couple other really cool originals, one of which is this, probably the largest painting i ever done of um, Derek Jeter getting his final hit at Yankee Stadium last year that Derek signed. Um, so some really cool paintings that people can purchase or purchase reproductions um, of the originals. Um, the, whole, the whole event is being hosted by Civic Duty Partners, and, and basically we're – we're there to to showcase all my work, but also to um, help raise money for um, Spectrum Works. I mean, I always love involving any of my shows in art um, with a charity, and, and Spectrum Works does a lot with autism and people and, and jobs. It's a really incredible charity. Um, so when you're able to tie that kind of stuff in, it's very cool. And, and one of my, my good clients is a huge Yankee fan, um, Dr. Joan Fallon. Her company, Curemark, is sponsoring, big sponsor of the event, and, and she's involved with, with autism and, and creating uh, medicine for it. So it's kind of it's cool to tie in my artwork with all these different relationships and people. It, it's a neat thing to do. Nice, awesome thing to do. James Fiorentino is my guest this morning on Jersey Central, and you will want to be at the Yogi Berra Museum and Learning Center Thursday, October 22nd from 6 to 9, you're going to have a chance to see a display of all of James' amazing artwork uh, available for purchase, too, I understand. And you go in and you would uh, make a purchase, and portions will benefit Spectrum Works, which is an organization that empowers and employs adults with autism. So it's a great cause that you're helping out as well. 
And uh, you'll get to meet James and see just the uh, incredible work that he does. And uh, it's just uh, if you've had a chance to see any of his work, I do have a link up on our Facebook fan page that will give you a chance to see some of his uh, great artwork. Uh, please uh, take a look at that. And one of the pieces, James, uh, that's going to be on display, you literally just wrapped up yesterday. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess that's a good problem to have to be so busy. You know, I'm always doing so much work in all different facets. But, of course, we had to paint, um, I guess you could say, celebrating Yogi's life. So it's a it's a, a big collage of about seven, eight images of him from, from when he was younger to all the way up to, you know, maybe a few years ago, you know, throwing out a pitch at Yankee Stadium. So it's a really awesome collage of his life. We're going to have reproductions available of that as well. And I should say, which is kind of cool, that, you know, you never know who you're going to see you know, at my openings, and especially at Yogi's uh, Museum. So we're going to have some former players there, you know, guys like uh, Roy White and, and the Count John Montefusco to, to my good friend Fred Cambria, who played for the Pirates back with Clemente. And um, just really, really good, nice people that if you're a fan as well, you get to speak to these guys. And um, and, and obviously, you know, just being in the museum, um, seeing all the unbelievable stuff there, I, you know, I call it like a mini Cooperstown. So it's it's a really, really cool, cool treasure. I think of New Jersey to to see, so it's it's really cool to have the stuff there. Uh, John Montefusco, that's another guy who was a character, right? <laughs> right. He was right. like, it's wow, the I, count they used to call him, right? Yeah, absolutely. Well, that's <laughs> right. the cool thing in baseball. You get all these wonderful stories and interesting characters, and you know, to actually meet these guys and talk talk sports and baseball, and of course. You know, what a great time to have a show there with the playoffs going and obviously the Mets doing really good. So it's a, it's a cool time to celebrate baseball and, and, and you know, my artwork also um, is the combination of really kind of, you know, celebrating art and sports and baseball. So it's, it's, a, it's a neat thing to do. And uh, I hope a lot of people come out because it'll be a nice – it'll be a really nice event, I think. Yeah, I agree. And uh, in addition to the great work that you do in, in painting athletes, I've seen some of your work of – of birds and, and nature kind of settings also, which are just breathtaking. So do you have a preference of what you like to do more? You know, I, I think it's a great balance. I think my love really is painting portraits. My watercolor artwork is now being, um, you know, shown throughout the state and, and actually throughout the country, I should say. But, you know, through New Jersey Watercolor Society, I have a beautiful painting up right now in a show. And obviously uh, we're working on a lot of uh, endangered species with a really cool project coming up, a New Jersey state project. Um, so, I mean, I love painting that stuff. And But there's nothing like, I guess, sometimes going back and painting you know, some of these sports heroes of mine. Um, it's just, just an honor for me to, to be able to paint every day and, and, and you know, just become more well-known throughout the country for my watercolor paintings. It's, you know, that, that really is a dream to be able to do that stuff. Sure. Well, great stuff and continued success. Uh, is there a place uh, people can go online, James, and see some of your work? Yeah, I tell you, if people are looking to buy the tickets um, for the event, too, and meet me and see all my work, it's arttodreamfor.com. And, of course, you can see my work um, and email me directly at jamesfiorentino.com or go to my Facebook page, and this way they can, you know, see all my stuff, all the different artwork I've done, and also get an opportunity to buy tickets for, for next week. And, you know, that'd be great. Love meeting people. Love, love talking to other upcoming artists and other artists. So it's, it's, it's a neat thing for me to do. Well, very cool. Well, great to talk to you as always, James, and uh, lots of, of success at the event next week. And uh, we'll, we'll do this again soon, I hope. I appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me. You bet. My pleasure. All right, James Fiorentino, 